Gardens. Valley View Farms is here to answer your plant and gardening questions. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I can barely see you over the hydrangea. <laughs> They're yeah, beautiful, this a, though. This is a beautiful uh, florist hydrangea, so it's not as hardy as the ones you would buy in our nursery department. But uh, you can have this inside for a while, and then when it gets a little bit warmer, you can take it outside and plant it in the ground if you'd like. Love the color. All right, ready for some questions? <laughs> That's what you're here I'm for, ready. right? All right, you can get rid of ivy that, how do you get rid of ivy that grows on houses and on trees? So ivy is really hard to get rid of. Is it? Um, yeah, it just vines and, it's, and it can be woody. Uh, we do carry a product called Cut Vine and Thumb Killer. Mm -hmm. And it's specialized to actually have a little paintbrush on the end of it. So what you can do is actually make a cutting and paint that on the end that is still attached to the ground. But what I would do is make sure that it's actively growing. So make sure you're seeing life to it, or else it's the chemical is not going to run through the product or run through the plant and kill it. Okay, good advice. I have a weeping cherry tree at my new home. Is there a special way to care for it? Should I allow the branches to touch the grass? That would be up to the person. I mean, you can trim it back. I would probably trim it back either late fall or even when it's very dormant in February. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as special, especially taking care of it, I don't, I don't think there's any special way to take care of it. Okay. Fertilize it spring and fall. Nothing, right. nothing too hard. And if they have any issues, they can come in and see you, of right. course. Uh, how do I get rid of onion grass? Onion grass is very hard to get rid of. I was actually talking to a young lady on the phone before I came in today. Um, onion grass grows up. It's going to be coming up very, very soon. Mm -hmm. um, it has a very waxy coating on it, so most sprays do not kill it. So what you have to do is you actually have to step on it. And that breaks that coating, and then you can take a product which we carry, a uh, weed beater ultra, or even a Roundup, and actually spray that on there. And that will, breaking that coating will allow the chemical to do its job. Okay, sounds good. Thanks for being here. Thank you. We'll see you next time.